Somebody's like, why faith? Why faith? It's going to be mental, spiritual, physical, emotional. Why faith, Mr. Andre? <laughs> Well, just like uh, we did earlier with the security, you know, uh, with the safety at the school, if you if you focus on the other three, you build the fourth one in. So, hey, if you're lacking a little bit of trust in your world, you practice some respect and love and to yourself for sure, and some faith in there, and it'll help you build that trust. If you're lacking faith, then you practice trust and love and respect, it builds it right in. Just a, the way about going, thinking about things. It's all love anyway. That's why it's a circle. Okay, so now we're going to talk about keeping it simple, keeping a circle. We'll go again, there's our mental, which is also our air was also business and education. <laughs> what else did we talk about over there? What was our fate? Some other stuff. Just look at the other videos. <laughs> Physical. We have fire. Safety. Oh yeah, support. <laughs> we have what else was in there? Respect. And living, just living, man. All right, and then we had our. What's in here? Anybody? Any guesses? Right, emotion. <laughs> yeah, that's where we have peace, you know, be who you are. Water. Uh, oh, wild dreams. Yeah. Just because. spiritual, which is the earth, and which is love, and community. So, there, should I jump out to us? Let's explain the days, let's explain the days. April 1st, Coco's Day, Pink and Purple Day. Here are some personifications of the four directions. We got Coco, the wall Coco. A line between emotion and physicality, that water, that protector. Coco's Day is about, you know, calling out that children's revolution, starting it. And Paul Simon's uh, If You Be My Bodyguard is really probably a good, perfect song for it. He's the protector of love. That's where that real power exists. So this Pink and Purple Day is not so much anti-bullying as it was pro-support. We live in a bully system because we're afraid. And it's a way of creating safety and protocols and ways of being and rules and stuff. It's all to try and contain that fear and safety. Hey, we can actually build the safety in through supporting each other our growth. So to call out to you, just wear pink and purple, nothing too too complicated. Just supporting. Just calling out a little dream. 
I know some people, you know, why is it Children's Revolution and why April 1st? It's people like, always underestimating kids. Right, Children's Revolution, right. what's that kind of do? Is this a kind of April Fool's joke? Well, actually, the fool's on them. Fool's Day only half a day, are you kidding me? That's the real April Fool's, the real April Fool's. April 15th. Fool's Day. This is Lolo's day. Oh, right down there. So, on this day, about 11, <laughs> Saint Imagine, by John Lennon, into rounds of all we are saying, give me a chance. You know, if you get this video in time, work on some banners and posters to express your, your messages and your hope for this new world that's coming, all that you want. I love Lennon saying, imagine, John Lennon. And then if you can, you know, if it all works out, something, the support is there, the safety is there. Hey man, walk out. I encourage the teachers and principals to go with them. Because man, teachers are bullied by the, all the expectations, and the principals are bullied by those expectations, and parents are bullying them. Hey kids, be patient with your parents, because they too are getting bullied from work to do this and that, and they bully to make sure you get the best. They're not the only ones. <laughs> At the workplace too, hey, 11-11 if you can. Sing a song and walk out. Just if you can. Just for that act. Even if you just do it in your imagination, that symbol act. It's just as profound. But hopefully your dream finds your feet. What are you going to go do? Walk out? You're just going to walk out and you're going to go play. Find a playground, man. Find a park. You're probably going to find a park and play old games like Frozen Tag, Charades. Just play. Because it's Fool's Day. <laughs> and it's foolish. But low, low is kind of the solo of this equation. You get Toto. You get Vivi. But sometimes we have to go on that journey that takes us low, low. It's an emotional, spiritual journey. Depression is a journey. And if we have the support to come out, we get high, high. Not high, high. A high, high is a deep way of saying thank you. Right from the heart. Those who've been on those hard journeys, those routes of depression, those battles with drugs, these are some of the most compassionate souls when they come back. Well, it's good for us to help support that. To help find people if they're lonely, amen. Again, it's that idea of scarcity. The thing we're most scarce for is love. And we live in abundance of it all around us all the time. My personification is from my own understanding or based on people I know. Hey, you'll have people you know too who are like that. Coco, who can be your protector. Lolo who knows that deep wisdom. Usually they're going that journey and they're some of the happiest folk got the biggest laugh. That's that quest there. So a little low, <laughs> sometimes it's time to do crazy things. If you can do it, it's safe. It's a safe. Nothing to prove. You can get on a roof and just check it out. You can call out Lolo. Or you can call out YOLO. <laughs> For me, my friend too, she's on that dark quest. But hey, maybe on that day she might have a whole bunch of people calling out her name, sending her love. So if you are feeling Lolo, remember too, hey, there's so many people out there that love you. All the generations before you that love you. All the ones to come that love you. All the plants and trees and birds that love you. 
It's a whole universe out there that loves you. If you listen, maybe you hear it calling your name. So that's kind of the idea of Lolo's day. Hey, it's kind of calling out for, hey, come out and play. And it's catches in Canada. It's kind of, hey, come out and play. She's down in the States. Come out and play, you kids. That's April 15th. <laughs> Next day after that is April 20th. It's Toto's Day. And yes, that's 420. And we'll get into that <laughs> in another video. No, that made the fourth. It's Lily's Day. And if you're watching what we're doing here, the, the personifications are female and male. That's a great strength of that emotion, that physicality. That's real protection, real love. But these are just kind of also ways that we see it, and it's not true. We are not divided. We are actually whole. Just as we have all the elements in us, we have all these different ways of being. Lee Lee's kind of, you know, always does the right thing, good. That line between the mental and the physical, you might have people in your life that are guides like that. Hey, you could be Lee Lee's to other people. These are ways in which we understand ourselves. As a community, what's been kind of wrong and kind of squared out, why a lot of the division, we kind of had focused on just the physical and mental of the world. We didn't give much attention to the emotional and the spiritual. And when we kind of influence the spiritual, it became divided, which is not what the spiritual is. It's one, it's love. I come from Port Murray. People uh, might not know this, but hey, Fort Murray is the Holy Land. You should check out our big hole. Huh? But hey, up there they're building a whole sense of community is erupting. I was up there earlier and visiting a friend in Anzac. And her family's been there for 200 years. And that line of different cultures came. The Cree, Dene, Métis. Different cultures, they came and they built a new culture. They even had a new language, Mikchif. This land is magic. And right now, there's people from all over the world gathered there and learning that love. And it's coming out in community. A lot of this idea came from hanging out with kids up there. A lot of the moves for the dances that I'll teach you actually came from a class, an original class in Father Mercury. Came up with the moves together. And the spirit of those kids that I met up there, hey, they planted that this was possible. That this was something of their hearts. There was something I was going to say about Fort McMurray. <laughs> oh, hey, even there. Right now they're clearing a space where they're going to build three different churches of different denominations. Right next to each other. And that spiritual thing, hey man, if those religions... They start opening up their doors and sharing their stories with each other. They'd see they're talking about the same thing, just in different beautiful ways. Anyway, that's another video too. <laughs> Let's keep this short and simple. There we go. Hey. Hi, Akicha, everybody.